I'm Jay St. Clair, pastor at First Presbyterian Church here in Arpen. I'm also a ruling elder on session at Covenant Community Presbyterian Church in Weston. We're honored to share with you our church and congregation. We normally have a sign up that says, welcome. We welcome the community to join us and we invite you to come inside and meet some of our brothers and sisters in the body of Christ here in Arpen. Uh, my name is John Murphy and we'd like to welcome you to our First Presbyterian Church in Arpen here. As you have uh, already seen from Pastor Jay, the building is impressive and, um, and available from the street. The first part of the building was built in 1917. Did fairly well for the congregation until a few years later they decided to upgrade and maximize some accessibility. Like to point out our carport which shields us from some of the weather. And in 1997, we built this wheelchair accessibility, indoor heat from three furnaces of the pastor's farm. We have elevator, ample space for gathering before and after our uh, meetings, office space for pastor, for our uh, arts and crafts, for ongoing community projects okay. over here is our original building with the stained glass. I'd like to point out that it was originally and done and building. Thank you and uh, welcome you to the infamous church basement. And whereas the church upstairs is the heart of the spiritual little portion of our family, this has uh, been a real community outreach program down here and kind of the heart of that portion of our church family. Again, our second story and first floor basement both have the, uh, the carports for easy access, keep a little bit of the weather off to come in. This is our dining and meeting area, which has been used extensively by local communities, 4-H and uh, local business for their meetings. And this facility is usually always open for public use for the betterment of those rooms. Welcome to our kitchen. I'm Elizabeth Murphy. We keep ourselves pretty busy even in COVID times with um, our mission work. We do community baskets here in Arpen and our facility as it is, is available to anyone who wants to use it. We have a luau in February, a spring fling in the spring, um, occasional rummage sales throughout the year and wind up the year with our mini fair in November. This is where we have Sunday school. And today we have one student, Jacob, but usually this room is bursting because all together we have 11 children. We do a lot of drama, we do a lot of playing some games, we do a lot of crafts and rotating teachers. So beyond uh, being in Sunday school where we teach the children, the children also give us a great deal in this church. We have kids who sing and play instruments. We have a child ring the bell every Sunday morning. We have them uh, doing projects that give back to the church. And so they're not just uh, a sidebar. They are really important part of the whole congregation. And these dresses uh, that Marie and a couple of her helpers have made, the first batch of them, which I think was 150, were shipped to Ghana, West Africa. These are very lightweight and airy dresses for girls and shorts for boys and they were so appreciated that we're going to send another batch uh, to Africa and I believe another batch is going to go to Nicaragua to the Wisconsin Nicaragua partners. Hello, I'm Dave Peterson. I'm the clerk of session of the Arpen Presbyterian Church. We have a six person session which guides our church and is determined to have our church persevere. Hi, I'm Nancy Peterson. I am the financial secretary for the First Presbyterian Church. I work with our treasurer, Doris Padel, who um, she is the actual treasurer, but the two of us count the money together on Sundays. And uh, at the end of the year, we compare our finances. Our sanctuary comfortably seats 70 people during normal times and 30 people during COVID. We've got a fantastic sound system that allows overflow out into the narthex and downstairs into Fellowship Hall. We celebrated a life this past year with over 350 people in attendance. Our services are traditional in structure, making use of technology and multimedia, 
yet they're flexible such that we were able to have 12 consecutive outdoor services in a park this past summer and parking lot services with a, a FM transmitter Christmas Eve and during the early months of 2021. Hi, I'm Tracy, a resident musician for, for over 10 years. I really enjoy playing and singing the old hymns, but learning new ones is fun too. And occasionally I do take some time off and let Pastor Jay or anyone else who might want to share their musical talents as well. We're just five minutes south of Highway 10 and to the east of Marshfield. Now that you're familiar with the four P's of our lower room, place, personality, programs, and people, we hope you'll come see our upper room where we're investing in discipleship and making new disciples for our future church. God bless from Marco.